Hi there, this is a uh, screencast about isomers and isomers are molecules that have the same formula but different structures. Now if, it, if you've managed to watch um, the film Nomenclature 1 before this it would be helpful to you because we're going to talk about some of the names of the molecules we look at in here. So if you haven't seen that one yet, maybe watch that before you watch this. Okay, so hopefully by the end of this particular screencast you'll know what we mean by the word isomers. You'll be able to decide, look at two molecules and side by side and decide if they're actually different, so whether they're isomers or not. And hopefully you'll have some understanding of the difference between structural and geometric isomerism. Okay, well let's start off with a definition. This is just really important to learn, really. Okay, isomers are two molecules, two or more molecules, but molecules that have the same molecular formula but different structures. That might seem a little bit obscure, so let's just draw two molecules that have different structures but the same formula. So I'm going to just go simple and just use four carbon atoms. If, I'm not going to draw all the hydrogens here, but I'm just going to show you where they'd be. So these are two alkanes because we've only got single bonds, right? And we've got four carbons in each case, but hopefully it's quite obvious that the two molecules are different from one another. This one's got a longest chain of three words, this one's got a longest chain of four, but they're both C4H10. So because they've got the same formula, same molecular formula, but they've got different structures, they can be called isomers of one another. Okay, so if you're going to decide whether two molecules are isomers or not, you've actually got to be able to look for differences between them. And like we mentioned in the Nomenclature 1 film, one of the key things with organic chemistry is being able to spot the longest chain. Now here's what looks, well, what might look like four different molecules, okay? They've all got this formula over here, C5H12. So you might be used to thinking of that as pentane. And here is a diagram of pentane, five carbons in a row, single bonds, all attached to hydrogens. Now let's look at this molecule here. This looks very different to this one, but in actual fact it's exactly the same thing because we can find the longest continuous chain here of five carbons. So without going back on myself, I can find five carbons. So in other words, this is just a chain of five carbons with no branches. So it's the same as that one. Here's another way of drawing exactly the same molecule. So these two aren't isomers of one another. They don't have different structures. They've just been drawn ever so slightly differently. Let's see if this one's different. One, two, three, four. Looks like maybe three with a branch of two coming off it, but one, two, three, four, five carbons. It's the longest chain again. Okay, so once again, it's pentane. It's the same structure. It's got the same formula, but it's also got the same structure. So none of these molecules are isomers of one another. Let's just have a quick look at this one and see one, two, three, four, five carbons. But if I take that as my longest chain of four, then there's a branch of one coming off it. I could similarly, let's do this in a different color, I could take that as my longest chain of four, in which case that would be a branch coming off it. But it's still, those two are the same thing as each other, no matter which way I consider it. But no matter which way I consider it, this molecule is definitely different from all these other three. So this is an isomer of those three. But these aren't isomers of one another because they've actually got the same structure. So key point there, when we're looking for differences between molecules, we've got to look for the longest chain there. And then we'll start having a look at what the branches are coming off the chain. So again, we are looking for the longest continuous chain. Let's look at this molecule. We've got five in a row. We're going to call it pentane because it's got single bonds. It's five carbons, so it's an alkane with five carbons, pentane. Let's look at this one here. I'll do it in two different colors again. There's a longest chain of four, but alternatively, I could go for that longest chain of four. Either way I do it, one, two, three, four, 
and a branch of one. Or alternatively, if I went the red route, I'm making a bit of a mess of this now, but there's my longest chain and there's the branch of one. Okay, so this is actually going to be called, and if you've looked at nomenclature, this is useful to you now, you'll decide that longest chain is four, so it's going to be called butane, not pentane anymore. And methyl does tell us that there's a branch of one carbon coming up it on the second carbon along. So two, two methyl butane, different name, because it's a different molecule. Same molecular formula, but different structure. So these two are isomers of one another. Here's another way of drawing five carbons with 12 hydrogens. Either a longest chain of three, with two one carbon branches coming off it, or perhaps we can do it that way, a longest chain of three with two one carbon branches coming off it. Either way, I'm going to name it the same way, you can figure that out for yourself using the nomenclature system that you've learned about, but it's got three carbons in its longest chain, so it's called propane. It's got two methyl groups attached to that chain, so di methyl, because the dye tells us how many of those methyl groups there are. My handwriting has completely gone to pot. Um, and there's two of them, so I have to say where both of them they are, and they're both on the second carbon, so 2,2-dimethyl propane now. Different structures, same molecular formula, different molecules, so they're all isomers of one another. Right. Now, as it said on the... Uh, kind of what to look out for by the end of the screencast slide there's two different kinds of isomerism there's structural isomerism there's geometric isomerism now let's see what the difference between them is structural isomers and here's another really important definition that you actually have to just take the time to learn okay structural isomers have the same molecular formula but different structural formulae okay what do we mean by structural formulae well if i wrote this molecule out it would be CH3, CH2, 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 CH3. We've already seen that these three molecules are different from one another. They were on the slide that we've just had a look at. If I write this one down, it's CH3. That's that carbon there. Next carbon is CH. But it's also got a CH3 attached. CH3. What I certainly can't do is just write this formula for it because the next carbon is not a CH2. Okay, then we do come to a CH2, that's this carbon here, and then finally a CH3. So these two molecules have the same molecular formula, they're all, remember, C5H12, but these two have different structural formulae, so they're called structural isomers. This one here we've seen is different to the other two. And we called it 2,2-dimethylpropane. Let's just see if we can write a structural formula for it. We'll start from that carbon and work our way along this chain, and we'll get CH3. The next carbon has C and two CH3 groups attached to it before we get to the last carbon, and that's CH3. Definitely can't write that formula for it or that one. You could actually group all these carbons together if you wanted and call it CH3, C, CH3, three times, and that would be just as good, in fact, probably a little bit better than that one. Okay, But because we can't write the same structural formula for these three molecules, that means that they are structural isomers. So remember that definition and try and understand what it means. Okay, These are also structural isomers, but they're structural isomers of an alkene. So we'll do the same thing again. We'll have a look at what molecular formula they've all got. They're all C6H12, like general alkene formula, N2N. Got a double bond present, so we know they're all alkenes. I've actually got the names written down for you, which you can probably figure out from your film about nomenclature. Now let's write the structural formula, CH2, CH, CH2, 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 CH3. Let's make sure we get the right number, CH3. This one here starts with a CH3, and then has a CH, and then no CH2, but a CH. 
CH2, CH2, CH3. Different structural formula to that first one. <coughs> so, same molecular formula, different structural formula. These two molecules are structural isomers of one another. Here's hex-3-ene. Remember, we're calling it hex-3-ene because the bond, double bond starts from the third carbon. Let's just try writing its structural formula, CH3, CH2, before we get to the two CHs. And then a CH2, CH3 at the end. And as you can see, there's no way you can write this structural formula and make it mean that molecule and vice versa. Okay, so because all these three molecules have different structural formulae, but the same molecular formula, they're all structural isomers of one another. Now, geometric isomers are a little bit more complicated because they actually have the same molecular and the same structural formula. What differs between these molecules is that you have a different arrangement of atoms in space. Now, this is, can seem a little bit obscure, but let's have a look now at some... Um, of, <coughs> in fact, let's just go back to that slide. Okay, so let's just um, maybe draw uh, a quite a simple alkene, but let's go. Let's put some um, let's put some chlorine atoms on it. Okay, so here are. Let's start again. Let's just put a double bond in, and have an H there and an H there, a CL there, and a CL there. Okay, now let's have a very similar molecule with a double bond. We'll put the H there, a CL there, an H there, and a CL there. Okay, now we haven't actually looked at how to name these kinds of molecules, and that's going to be in a um, screencast called Nomenclature 2. Okay, but let's just have a look at what the structural formula you will be. First carbon has C, H, C, L. That one has C, H, C, L. And hopefully you can see on this one too we've got C, H, C, L and C, H, C, L. Okay, so they've actually got the same structural formula as well as having the same molecular formula. So molecular formula is C, C2, H2, C, L2. Okay, but because the atoms have been arranged differently in space this isn't the same as just drawing the molecules differently. Okay, this bond can't rotate easily, so these molecules are actually different to one another. They're called geometric isomers. So same structural formula now, but different geometry. Now hopefully that will be a little bit clearer, maybe, if it wasn't clear already, if we look at these three molecules. These are all isomers of this formula, so C4HA. CnH2n, so we shouldn't be surprised to see four alkenes here. There's our double bond. Okay, these molecules are actually some are structural isomers and some are geometric. So that's what we mean by some molecules have both kinds of isomers. Let's just write out the structural formulae for them. Okay, CH2, CH, CH2, CH3. This one here, I'm just going to go down here a bit so I've got a bit more room. CH3 at the start of the chain. CH. CH. And another CH3. This one here, we've got CH3 at the start of the chain. CH. Next carbon along. Next one's also got CH and CH3. Now I could write those two the other way around for one another. You might think, because I've swapped those two things around, but that would mean that the CH3 came before the CH, and it doesn't do that. Okay, so these two have actually got the same structural formula, but I'll well, have a look at exactly what but there is there. Let's just take a look at this one. Start of the chain could be over here, or it could be over here. Let's just start at this end. We've got a CH2 followed by a C, and then on this C we've got a CH3. And then we go along the chain further and we've got another CH3. Okay, so let's just have a look at that. We've got two molecules, 
It's not a very good circle. But um, two molecules that have the same structural formula and the other two have different structural formulae. Okay, so these two certainly aren't structural isomers of each other. But that's a structural isomer of both of those two and of that one. And that one is a structural isomer of both of those two. These two have different structural formulae, so they can't be geometric isomers of one another. But these two have the same structural formula. Are they geometric isomers? Well, yes, because the atoms are arranged differently in space. Here we can see that the carbon chain goes along like that with the two methyl groups on the same side of the double bond. But here, it actually goes like that. Okay, with the two methyl groups on other sides of the double bond. And as I said before, look at the nomenclature of this in another film, but here's how we're actually naming them differently. And you can just have a look at the names in your own time there. Film, But this isn't a film about nomenclature, so it's not really the main focus. Okay, but there's two geometric isomers. They've got the same structural formula as one another. These two molecules have different structural formulae to each other and to these two, so they're structural isomers of each other and of those. These two can't be structural isomers of each other because they've got the same structural formula, but they are geometric isomers, and that can't be a geometric isomer of that because they've got different structural formulae. Quite a lot of key points in that film, so it's probably maybe worth watching it again just to make sure you understand them all. Um, probably the next, step, next best step is going to be going on to nomenclature 2, um, so that you can find out a little bit more about naming alkenes and, and in particular geometric isomers. Okay, cheers.